A look at the weather. Here's Louise Lear. Hi there, Anita. Well, it looks likely that we're going to close out the final week of November as we began with a lot of rain around. So for the next couple of days, the heaviest of the rain across England and Wales, not exclusively, but there is a potential for some localised flooding. So tune into your BBC local radio stations first thing in the morning if you want travel and traffic updates. This is the story at the moment. A lot of cloud around and showery bands of rain drifting their way steadily northwards today. The best of the brightness so far has been to the northwest of the Great Glen, but that's not going to last as these bands of showery rain continue to push north. Some of them could be heavy towards the end of the afternoon in the southwest, maybe with the odd rumble of thunder. But it's mild out there, 9 to 13 degrees, and it looks likely that that mild theme will continue for another couple of days. But through this evening, the uh, showery rain drifts north. We keep a blanket of cloud across the country. And then there's another area of low pressure starting to push in from the southwest. Now, with the cloud around, an incredibly mild night for this time of year, 8 to 10 degrees, the overnight lows. But we do need to draw your attention to this area of low pressure. It's the remnants of what was Storm Sebastian. So it's got a little bit more energy, a little bit more intensity in it. So it could bring some rain, some of it heavy for a time. Gale force gusts of winds 40 to 50 mile an hour, 55 miles an hour as it pushes its way in through the southwest and across Wales. So as we go through the day, that'll be moving across Northern Ireland, Northern England, over towards East Anglia. And then it's going to park itself really across the Scottish borders for the remainder of the day. At the same time, we'll see another pulse of very wet weather pushing up through the Channel Isles into southeast England as well. A blustery afternoon for many of us, a mild afternoon because at least the wind direction for the time being is coming from the south. As we move out of Tuesday into Wednesday, that low pressure drifts its way slowly eastwards across the country, still bringing our breaks of rain with it as well. And on the southern flank, we could see some pretty strong gale force gusts of winds across channel facing coast, a pulse of wet weather here, and some persistent rain across northeast England and again through southern Scotland, accompanied by more of a northeasterly breeze. So a slightly fresher feel to things, particularly on those exposed North Sea coasts. And that's a sign of what's to come into the weekend. The northerly wind is set to return and it's going to drag this cooler air source right across the country. So I'm trying desperately hard to find a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, it will get colder into the weekend, but something just that little bit brighter with some nighttime frosts returning. Anita.